Whale suddenly swallowed a diver later. What happened was never witnessed before. Unexpectedly, something enormous propelled him upward from below, knocking the air from his lungs. His diving mask was dislodged, and salt water burned his lungs as he struggled to breathe. Despite the impending doom, Finn accepted his fate. However, instead of a shark attack, a giant creature pushed him into its mouth. Surprisingly, he felt no sharp teeth tearing into him. Finn never knew what he was going to witness and ended up being suddenly swallowed by a whale. How did he survive this attack, and how long was he inside the whale? While diving in the most downright scary place on the planet, there is a thin strip of water between Dye Island and Geyser Rock in South Africa. Every time he took his Camry into the depths, he risked his life, but for Finn, this was a small price to pay to follow his passion. Now, in Shark Alley, the team was seated in the gently bobbing dinghy, prepared for their dive. As usual, they took a moment to observe their surroundings before descending, searching for any signs indicating the presence of apex predators. Today was unusually tranquil. The seals on Geyser Rock and the penguins on Dyer Island appeared calm, signaling the absence of any imminent lethal activity beneath the water's surface. After a thorough observation, Finn signaled the start of the dive. The crew secured their equipment, and Finn double-checked his camera. Subsequently, they flipped over the side of the dinghy. The underwater environment was eerily quiet, with visibility limited to around 10 feet, and occasional splashes from nearby seals or penguins drew their attention. Finn, watching a seal's playful antics, made a rare discovery. Several large shapes glided on the ocean's surface, initially resembling orcas. Known as Port and Starbird, a pair of orcas disrupted the presence of great whites in Shark Alley. However, the shape's movements didn't match orcas, and upon closer inspection, Finn identified them as a pod of southern right whales. The adults formed a protective circle, sheltering two calves at the center, indicating a perceived threat, likely the presence of one or more great whites. Remaining vigilant, Finn circled cautiously, scrutinizing the murky depths for any signs of trouble. The absence of seals and penguins in the water heightened a sense of peril. Suddenly, Finn sensed a stalking presence. Swiftly turning, he encountered an enormous shape brushing past him. Recognizing it as a shark, specifically a great white, Finn braced for an imminent attack, realizing he might not see it coming in the murky water. A moment of terror enveloped Finn as he circled, trying to spot the shark's movement. Unexpectedly, something enormous propelled him upward from below, knocking the air from his lungs. His diving mask was dislodged, and salt water burned his lungs as he struggled to breathe. Despite the impending doom, Finn accepted his fate. However, instead of a shark attack, a giant creature pushed him into its mouth. Surprisingly, he felt no sharp teeth tearing into him. Panic set in, but to his amazement, he could breathe, with fresh air streaming into his lungs. Opening his eyes, Finn saw the crew on the dinghy, screaming having surfaced during the attack. The rubber boat raced towards him, and the creature that had attacked him backed off. As the crew swiftly pulled him aboard, they recounted an unbelievable story. They had witnessed the great white approaching Finn enter water, and knew an attack was imminent. Unexpectedly, a southern right whale emerged from the depths, pushing Finn towards the surface and taking him into its mouth. Great whites being natural enemies to whales, especially in the presence of calves. The whale had likely recognized Finn as being under attack, and rushed to his aid. Once the shark retreated, the whale surfaced, allowing Finn to roll out of its mouth. Although the entire ordeal lasted only five minutes, it left an indelible mark on Finn and his friends. 